Scorpios, welcome to your heart spread read for the one who's on your mind and in your heart. This is for mid-November time frame using the Gilded Terra Royale here in the urban jungle of Cancun, Mexico. Uh, got a neighbor renovating a house over. Hope it won't get too loud. Otherwise, it's incredibly peaceful here. Such a good vibe. Um, I'm going to call this my uh, studio. Bombay. So already shuffled. Uh, bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. Uh, read that lightly in this read. You know, today is the fourth. It's uh, the new moon in Scorpio. It's at 12 degrees. I'm a Scorpio Venus, so my Scorpio Venus is at 12. The asteroid designator is at 11, and uh, at 8, I have Neptune there in a conjunction. So, um, you know, it's hit me right in the puss. And yeah, it's like uh, for sure walking away. The Soul Family Read, I'll put a link here in this description, but it's on the channel. It's a daily read for whoever resonates more around uh, personal manifestation, spirituality, than romance. Um, but I talk about this energy of the new moon with this reading, so see if you relate. But right now we're going to look at you and this person that you have in your heart right now. And that's who it's going to pick up on. It's not necessarily who's with you, it's who's in your heart. And you're coming in with the page of wands uh, energy. Um, this is where you're at, in and around love and relationships within yourself right now. Try to look at that as a baseline. And you're facing away from the reading as if to emphasize just kind of where you're at right now. Now, the page of wands, um, whether you're young or not, could be. Uh, but it's the energy of you're getting fired up, Scorpio. Um, wanting to express yourself, wanting to take action. Um, you know, we go with the pandemic narrative, and it's like, you know, I've had enough of that, and you want to go out, you know, um, and find out what you got, like that Springsteen song, I want to find out what I got, uh, but you're just kind of revving up to it, guys, it's like you're, now, here's your other person, so, and you're already in this energy, and you're looking back, so that's maybe what it is, it's like, um, uh, Maybe you're still in the process of releasing and walking away from whatever emotionally it was in the past holding you back. I always say with relationships, I mean, you know, you can't go forward until you let go of that energy. So, your person comes in with the Three of Pentacles. They might be an Earth sign. They definitely have that Earth energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus about them, guys. Um, and they're probably someone that's literally very good at what they do. They do something specific. They have a skill, skill set. Uh, they very well might work with their hands. Um, an artist, you know, artisan, or an artist, someone that uh, takes a lot of pride in their work. In terms of coming into a relationship, I tend to see this as someone likely that they've done the work on themselves, and they're very self-contained. Um, so it's really good energy to come into a relationship with. Uh, page of Wands reverse works with this, you know. Um, it's not bad. Wow. Are you into them? Uh, hello. The most positive card in the deck comes up as your energy about how you feel about them. That's all it's telling me. It's like, David, why aren't you telling me how I feel about them? I know how I feel about them. I want to see if this resonates because then if that's not you... Try the soul family read or check out the singles read. <laughs> uh, but so you would be just all lit up. I mean, um, to go from the page of wands, you were kind of ready, like your foot was on a pedal. And now this person comes along and your foot goes to the floor. <laughs> How about that? That's what this is. <laughs> your foot was on the pedal, you were, and then they, and it's on the floor. Yeah, Crosswatcher, just super into you, majorly into you. Now, interestingly enough, this was the card I focused on, did a reading from the little booklet that comes with the Gilded Tarot uh, uh, cards uh, about the moon and focused on the moon today in this whole family read. So this is their energy in and around you. Look at this, the sun and the moon. So, I mean, if they're a masculine, like I have a cancer moon, I'm kind of a divine feminine energy. I express a lot of divine feminine emotional energy. And that's the way they're feeling. Um, 
I get the feeling like they might say or feel or tell their friends like they melt me, they melt me, you know, and it's got this cancer energy written all over them. Um, you might be bringing light to them, uh, in some way bringing life to them, because okay, look at what we have here. You're in this page of wands energy, and this is a little bit like I come to party. I want to have a good time, like okay, maybe I go to work. On the weekend, I'm going to dress up, I'm going to go out and have a good fucking time, <laughs> you know? And this person there, maybe they're not, they're just a working all the time type of energy, you know? And now you come along with the sun energy, and you light them up. It's like this whole dark side of their life is now getting light, you know? But I think there's something about this that's a little confusing for them, you know? They could be asking themselves, oh my God, am I ready for this? I mean, there's a lot of fire here and then earth and water over here. So it could be Taurus, uh, person, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, and this moon could literally represent a water moon for them. Wow, what am I talking about the fire? Now this is the advice from spirit. Okay, this is kind of heavy, and it has to do with energy, and you got, I think, like, we're all soulmates. If you're deep this far into this person, there's something going on, whether you never touch, whether you never meet, uh, whether you get married or whatever, have children together, it's something going on here, and there's energy always working in, at play that's beyond our ego cells, David, and everything, and this is advice from spirit here for Scorpio to really shine. You know, to just, this is coming underneath the sun. This is like, don't you even think about pulling back for a minute. Like, um, you're going here from the Page of Wands, and they're advising the Queen of Wands. So, they're like, understand that you already, this probably this person makes you feel like the Queen of Wands, get right down to it, you know, with this sun energy. But the universe, being this, their advice towards them, is trying to tell you, no, you really are the Queen of Wands. And I think you light up their world. And look what they have under here. The high priestess advice from spirit. So. The way they're reacting to you is with this moon energy. There's something they don't understand. If they're cross watching or if you want to share. Uh, maybe they might have some idea what this is. But with the advice being the high spirit. Uh, the answer is going to be intuitive. Divine feminine energy. Um, they're coming in, you're coming in masculine, baby, male or female, you're coming in with hot. You're coming in hot, hot, on fire, you know. Um, and your person's just like water, man. It's going to be like, like steam here. Um, and there's something they need to understand. It goes pretty deep. So considering it's a soulmate relationship, now we're looking at the advice from the Queen of Wands to the High Priestess. Okay. What What's going on with your person? It's, it has nothing to do with anything you can wrap your knuckles on, uh, Scorpio. Everything that's going on with your person is about everything you can't wrap your knuckles on, first of all. Neptune's involved. Pluto's involved. In their natal chart, their, you know, transit energy, their progress energy, the stuff going on with them. And I wanted to get advice. Yeah, okay. So you they come in with the Three of Pentacles. Look, I'm going to tell you, this is like Dr. Phil's stuff. Okay, so workaholic, why? Because they don't want to deal with this pain from this breakup. This is the one that got them. I don't know if it was the last one. But, you know, Three of Swords and it come in as a Three of Pentacles. This is like, this is like soap opera stuff, I swear to God. And, but it's exactly the kind of real life shit that happens. I mean, look at this. Three of Swords. I mean, it's for real. So I'm saying, what's going on? Moon energy. What's going on? High Priestess. What is it that needs to be intuited? Um, and it's just that it has to be dealt with this person from the past, you know? Um, and it could just simply be feeling one's feelings, this person, with, you know, cross watcher. You share. Um, just whatever your process get put on the saddest music, the saddest movies that make you cry every time and just prepare to wah, wah. 
and, and get into it, you know. Uh, but it's a, I told you, like, it's an energetic thing going on. This Libra here, you, Libra, <coughs> you're coming in here like the sun. Uh, like, there's people dying in the darkness of night, in the cold, and they just make it, and then they see the sun. They begin to feel the warmth of the sun. This is like what this person feels about you. It's like they're the cold earth, and it's, it's slowly being warmed by this brilliant, beautiful sun. Why it's making me emotional. Now what happens to happen between you guys is a full on transformation. Something energetically going on here. Uh, there's a soul contract. To put it in the most simple forms. You know, you owe them. And this is payback. But it's not like payback, good, bad. It's an energetic thing. It's like a balance. Like, you guys are in this soul dance. You're part of the same soul family. It's why you're attracted to them. why you're together. It's how it always works, right? Um, and you're coming together on a soul contract to transform. And I feel like it's mostly about them. But I think I don't think it's codependent. Fuck all that. I think it's spiritual. You know, you guys are coming together. Now, does this mean you're going to get married and be together forever? What you may want, because you've got this sun energy. It's going to get any hard. You can't love any harder than the sun, man. It's everything, okay? Um, but you can. But the spirit's saying the way is through transformation. And this is at the core of the heart spread here, is it takes on the shape of a heart. And we look towards the outcome. Page of cups. And that's moving towards your person. So this is very simple and very heavy. You have to look at this together. Now we have the magician on the bottom of the deck now. Finally, I'm going to take that. Do read that lightly. So there's manifestation going on here. Probably you, Scorpio. This is your card. So this relationship will go your way. And it's actually reversed. You will be the one to decide and take control, Scorpio. And... What you're going to find is that you're going to have to transform in such a way um, that you bring all of this passion uh, into some emotional feelings for the person, you know, um, other than the high priestess here, and you've got the moon, this is these uh, outer planets, these uh, broader energy for your person, um, who really don't have a lot of emotion, and now you do with the page of cups and it's a fine outcome and it's exactly what your person needs um it's a, for their transformation they're gonna have to deal with this stuff and um then that's you coming in and you're bringing you, you know it's really being a, of you uh scorpio kind of selfless here uh, it's a soulmate energy and i think it's the right thing to do absolutely um it's a contract that you guys have uh, but you will then have it's your it's just your call. The death is the advice for relationship. It's going to be your relationship, so it'll go your way if that's what you want. Um, it'll be up to you. Um, and I think it's almost like uh, could be a twin flame too, with you kind of with the you being the activator and they're the sleeper. And you with the page of pentacles. What I like, it's like you know just what to give them. It's not manipulative. It's like it's understanding. It's like that that moon maybe that. Uh, moon card is very sensitive and triggery and you know just what to give them just what to whisper in their ear uh, to make them feel secure and loved and um, build a relationship together if that's what you want here so let me know what you think of this guys I do appreciate you give me a like if you tell a friend to tell a friend if you would share this reading in any platform you think it might be helpful or relevant uh, that would certainly help me and do subscribe. Thank you guys